and uh, let us now start with this what is the objective why do you want to have an orthogonal set and what is the important property and consequently what happens so that's the uh, discussion in the today's class and for that let us uh, let us uh, start from here i have written the title here orthogonal set and then one of the applications okay there are several applications of orthogonal set but one of the important applications is that you can have trigonometric fourier series the set s represents a set of all functions now here we are considering some kind of uh, trigonometric functions uh, because of that reason i am saying that the fourier series happens to be a trigonometric fourier series orthogonal set by definition is like this there are infinite number of elements are there in the set you take any two elements any two and then you integrate by multiplying and then integrate over the some range so here let me take the range here so i have not written here let me write down over so this particular expression is valid for the for the x range from let us say minus pi to plus pi so the total range is uh, 2 pi is the range that's what we mean to say and what do you mean by this orthogonality so that by definition let me write down the fundamental definition for this orthogonality that we are going to perform an integration between whatever be the limits that are defined here okay for this problem it is defined from minus pi to plus pi for a different problem some different range will be there so you have to be careful with the range that given range you have to put it here that is the first condition second condition is you put you put first element and then any other element here you can put any two elements as an example let me write down that you don't have to write down only the first element but you can write down any element i am now writing the first element and then you can multiply any other element for example let me write down this sin x for example i say that this is sin x then dx so what is the understanding here any one element that means any one element from this uh, set then you have any one more element in this if you are going to multiply like that and then integrate the answer is going to be zero so this property is known as orthogonality property okay the condition is clear right these two elements should not be the same element once you take cos nx again i should not take the same cos nx that's all about it you have to take some other element so this is one example and uh, you can ask the question this integral is so so easy integral you can evaluate and you can easily show that zero will be the result okay i'm not going to do the integration but the property says that if you are going to do the integration actually then you must get zero so that is the property and similarly so if this is the situation similarly you can write down so what are the properties you can write down quickly you can see like this so integral again you can write down from minus pi to plus pi you write any two for example i'll write down cos nx so if cos nx is my first element here then let me write down some other element like sin nx so sin nx rather than writing nx i'll write mx here so you can now see that this is n and that is m and the purpose should be clear that n and m are not necessarily same okay because sometimes you'll get a doubt you can ask the question why you are not taking sin nx when there is a n here by taking m i am now giving guarantee that there is not even any compulsion that n and n should be same we are actually taking a different element so that is the actual meaning and when we do that we, we we are supposed to get once again zero the integration can be performed very easily based on your basic knowledge in uh, integral calculus where n and m are integers that should be clear right how do you know integer means you see here this is 1x this is 2x 3x 4x etc nx so n ranges from 1 2 3 etc so that is the meaning so n will range from it starts from 1 2 3 etc and so is the case for m also so i'll write down m is also equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma etc so this property is what is called orthogonality property and one can easily verify that by performing the actual integration using your knowledge in integral calculus you can show that this is zero in fact that's all about it and similarly this is not the only option can you write any more option means yes it is possible to write any more option for example within this cos we can write one more option okay this is one example this is another example one more example that you can write from this set is integral minus pi to plus pi let me write down within this cos this is from here to here cos right and from here to here sin is there 
so within cos i will take two elements for example i will take cos 2x here and then cos 10x here cos 2x cos 10x so if you are interested to write like that in general we can write like this cos nx then multiplied by cos mx so certainly n and m are again once again different and this is different from this as you can clearly see and in case if you are going to integrate this you must be getting once again zero so this is the uh, these are the properties of the orthogonality and similarly can you write down any more you can still think quickly you can verify that you can still write down some more options within this minus pi to plus pi here one into sin x i have written so uh, you can now itself you can ask the question why should i write only sin x can i not write sin 2x can i not write sin 3x like that a doubt will come so the answer is uh, yes you can write anything so for clarity i'll write down that sin nx can be written here and similarly you can also uh, write down this that any one element i am going to choose the first element and the second element is within this cos so i can write down cos of nx into dx you you can show that this is also zero so that means any one element and then a very different element if i multiply and then put a dx equal to zero uh, into dx this integral should go to zero uh, for this particular problem so this is the elementary introduction to the orthogonality without actually going into the detailed definition for orthogonality so that's what i'm trying to say actual definition formal definition of the orthogonal set will be discussed in the second semester of your uh, mathematics but now we are quickly entering into the fourier series so for that uh, we are now saying that zero would be the result if you are going to multiply so how many results you have you have one two three four okay so these are the possible results that you have can you write any more can you write any more combination if you think you can still say yes we can write down one more option you can easily verify minus pi to plus pi cos cos is taken cos cos have you taken sin sin you are not done right so that also you can write down so sin nx multiplied by sin mx then you have a dx is also going to be equal to zero so all this that means how you have one two three four five so five integrals that you are going to have everything is zero there is an important condition that everywhere and this is i already told you what do you what is that important condition the n and m should not be the same okay or that means in, a, in other words we can also say that this term and this term should not be both are same terms if they are same term means you are going to square it no that option we should not take then only this zero is valid so that's what we are going to say where we are going to say n is not equal to m so for all these cases and only for one case okay out of the five integration there are five values are there right one two uh, maybe i'll write here this is one two we have three then that could be a four and this is your five so out of the five integrations okay for all the five integrations this condition you can use but there is one more interesting thing that in the case of the fourth integration that is for this integral even when n is equal to m even when n is equal to m this becomes zero okay because these two are totally different so only for four you can you can have like this for four that is for equation number four n is equal to m it is also agreeable n is not equal to m both are applicable so what do you mean by tick here both are applicable n equal to m also it is applicable zero zero is the answer not equal to m also zero is the answer but for other situations but for other situation means other equations one two three etc you have to only agree for this equations for other equations for equation number one equation number two three and five that's all about it so if these conditions are satisfied we say that this particular set is an orthogonal set okay